there's a lot of divers and gear to prepare. It's going to take some time. And as the sun rose higher and higher in the sky, the surface air temperature rose with it to a blistering 35 degrees Celsius. That right there basically just reduces the heat on the deck of Mari is stifling. Imagine wearing heavy wool underwear and an insulated dry suit while preparing to dive in 30 degree plus air temperatures. We're being superheated, only to be super cooled once we get below 10 meters in the water. Turn it off if you can. Hey, War. My, uh, the hose to my mask just burst. I'll go grab the boys. Tell them what's up. You guys just go. Okay, yeah. Go. Okay. See you later, Jim. It's far better for it to have burst here on the surface than for it to have failed on, uh, you know, at depth. That would have been a more problematic thing. In that case, um, I would have had to have gone to one of the other divers, had him shut down that reg, and uh, gone to my backup right here. That would have been a little tense. Unfortunately, Jim gets left behind, but there'd be other dives and other chances for him to see Rizalka. Yeah, just couldn't take the pressure. Hopefully our camera fogging issue had been dealt with by Warren back on shore before we had left Kado's shop. Yeah, we're having some serious fog up issues with our cameras. What we've used in the past is what's called silica gel, these small little beads. They just help absorb humidity out of the air. We're diving down into that freezing cold water. It's basically almost zero degrees, one or two degrees centigrade. You can imagine that warm, humid air inside the housing and uh, you get that super cooling effect on, on the outside of the housing and all of a sudden that humidity wants to condense on the inside of the lens. Descending on our mooring line, we're soon back on the wreck. Rizalka stands nearly vertical, maybe only 10 or 12 degrees off being straight up and down. And the net that drapes all over the wreck hangs away from the deck. So if you want to inspect that deck, you have to get down underneath and come up from behind the net. And remember, Rizalka rests in 215 feet, about 65 meters of water. No one wants to have an equipment problem if you're underneath that net. Still, I have to get under the net because it's here that I'll find the clues that will explain Rizalka's mysterious sinking. <laughs> 